Okay, welcome back. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to shade this just a little bit or start in a very, you know, simple way to do a little bit of shading on this to give it uh, a little bit of uh, shape. Now, we, well, I'm using, I'm going to use a little bit of, so almost like a, this Payne's Gray kind of a glaze almost. Get it real thin and kind of watery. And then what I'm going to do, I know that my edge is right there along where the, the tape is. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to do a little bit of a, just a little bit of something like that. Right along that edge. I'm going to take this, come right back and I just clean that up a little bit. That'll create a little bit of a shadow line on that side. Just put it right along there. Come back, clean that up just a little bit. Do that on all of the uh, all of the edges. Once again, there's nothing that's like really. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to be perfect at it. Just get a little bit of darkness on that side so that you'll know that uh, that this thing's round. Well, another thing I did while y'all were taking a break, is I took some of these other colors. So I'm going to do this a little bit darker down here. Just give it a little bit of interest. Um, I took some more of these colors and um, just put a little hint, a little bit of green, a little bit of the, that orange color, and, uh, and, and so forth. And that gives it just a little bit of a hint of, uh, of some color. and makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay. Once again, this is not, you know, very scientific, but it's, uh, it's easy to do. So you just uh, keep doing like I'm showing you. All right, then I like that. And come back and just rough that edge up a little bit because after all this is tree bark, see? So it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be real perfect. It does have to have a little bit of dark on that side to give it some some rounding. Now, if we pulled the tape off right now, you would see that it, it's got kind of a rounded look to it. So we're going to do two more things that will make it look, uh, you know, look even better. We're going to put some highlights on this side, and then we're going to do some a little bit of backlighting. I'll show you. The, um, the highlight is actually is basically kind of a white line, and that's where the... the uh, Sunlight is shining on it. So you get a little bit of that, and now you can see where your tape is, and you just come along there and you just kind of hit it like that. Kind of hit or miss. Oh, that's where my tape was. Okay. Here we go. Do it like that. Then you can uh, take your other brush and just sort of Soften that up just a little bit. It's actually easier with oils. Acrylic dries so doggone fast. It's hard to, sometimes a little bit hard to control, but uh, be that as it may. Yeah, I'll just 
this guy. We just don't want any, we want to try not to get any real, like, real hard edges on it. Now, this lays the groundwork for this, but uh, keep in mind, you can, uh, you can work on this along, um, you know, even after you pull the tape off, adding little, little tidbits here and there. This is real fast, so you can you can almost do it, you know, right along with me, you know. I know it looks a little ragged right now, but once you pull the tape off, you'll see. And see, once you get it, once you get your tape off, you can you can determine whether or not you you feel like the highlights are maybe too strong or not strong enough, and you can adjust it with a little bit more, or go over it with a little bit of the uh, the slightly darker stuff. Okay, now. Okay, now. Um, this is birch, so it's got some kind of striations in the bark. And the easiest uh, way to do that is to use, use a fan brush and just drag a few details along. Or you can use, uh, you know, like a small brush like this and just, you know, meticulously do it. But if you use a fan brush, and this is a fan brush, appropriately named. You just pick up a little bit of, of color in that and just sort of drag it across periodically to get a little bit of that stuff going like that. Just here and there. Bob Ross would say, just a happy little line. simple and fast way. Now, like I say, you can take your time. On this one, on this example that I showed you, I sort of came, took my time. I came back and did, you know, some more of this stuff, brought up some of my highlights a little bit, and actually did some line work on there to pop this stuff out. You can do that, too. Or not. You know, I mean, it depends on how, uh, to what degree you want this uh, to look like. Now, let's take this brush. And I'm going to make just a little bit of light color, okay? A little bit lighter than what I've got here. And I'm going to come back over the back side of this. Oh, that's too much. And just come down 
just the edge of it with a little bit of what would be like backlighting. Just a little bit here and there. Sort of rushing through this, but you, you can you can kind of take your time doing this and, and do it a little bit neater than I'm doing it. But uh, yeah, you'll see the effect once we get the tape pulled off of it. Okay, now. Once again, you can uh, you can go back over this and clean it all up. Go darker with your shadows, lighter with your lights, and so forth to make it just the way you want it. At this point, you start pulling the tape off of it. Yeah, that's our uh, that's our trunks. Now, like I said, you could you can go back over this. You can darken this up. You can lighten it up. You can do whatever you want to in that regard. Now, I'm going to start putting a little bit of the uh, the details into it uh, because well, because this is birch, and birch has these little sort of nodes or nodules. Like I said, this is going to be my this is my uh, one that guy that's in the front, then this guy, then that guy, and on this side be this guy, and then that guy. So, and this is one of those things where wherever you think it needs to be and whatever you think it needs, but it's, it's a shape kind of like this. Is, is you uh, start covering that with this, and you can do some, you know, lines like this in there. And a little bit of details to it. You start doing that to all of the, uh, you know, all of the trunks. But now, also, what you'll be doing is putting in branches. And that's real simple. You just Uh, 
That's how you branch the scope. And you do that <coughs> over the, uh, you know, all of the, all of the trunks and just keep going until you get the composition that you like, uh, remembering that this one is behind this one. So when you make those uh, branches there, just come from this area right here, let's say. Oops. And then go and complete it over here. You know, so you get that feeling of it going in behind there. Okay, so we're going to jump off in just a minute. I'll continue doing some of this stuff on this, and then uh, when we come back, we will uh, we'll kind of wrap it up. But that, as you can see, you're already on your way to the uh, the painting being, you know, pretty pretty believable. And once again, on these branches, there is no right and there is no wrong. It's just however you think these things need to go in there. So continue on, wrap, you know, continue all over the, all of the branches. Remember, this one now will come over and they'll, it'll go in front of these. It'll go in front of these. This one will go in behind. And this one will go in behind. So arrange your branches accordingly and, uh, and, and make, uh, you know, that kind of composition. <clears throat> When I return, then we'll sort of put the finishing touches on it, and you'll have a, a finished painting. So all together, this start to finish probably should take you no more than, uh, well, anywhere from a half an hour to a couple of hours, depending on how detailed you want to get with. So I'll, get, I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, welcome back. Now, while we were gone, what I've done is I have added some more of the branches, and I... I glazed over just a little bit to darken things up, and I also outlined it, as you can see, in a very thin line. Now, that's kind of optional. I like to do that sometime on a painting like this so it kind of kind of pops it out. Um, and you can re-emphasize, restate the backlighting, make maybe the, the highlighting a little bit uh, brighter, and just doodle around on it until you get it exactly the way you want it now. I also came back and you can see some very light color sort of glazed in, a little bit of yellows and some reds and the greens and so forth. That's very subtle. Now you, you have to be very careful with that so you don't overdo it. <clears throat> Get your brush, just a little bit of color on that, wipe it across your uh, paper towel or something until you have just barely enough color to just scrub on a little bit of uh, a little bit of color, that gives it a little bit of interest. <clears throat> it's very subtle, it doesn't jump out at you, but it, uh, it really adds to it. So, and then once again, you can continue on as much as you want to, or as little, you know. This, I'm, I'm calling this done, quite frankly. Now, if you, you want it, if you wanted to, you could come back and, and put some leaves in, or, you know, do whatever you want to, emphasize a little bit of this or that. But at this point right now, you could put a frame around it, and uh, you know, hang it up and be very pleased. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually, you know, liven it up just a little bit by just putting a little bit of, you know, highlights on some of these things here to give them a little bit of shape, and and, and so forth. So you can fiddle around on this thing, doing exactly what what we've done thus far, and um, at the end of the day, you'll have a painting that you can hang up. This ought to take you from start to finish. Now we've, I guess, had a little bit of extra time to it, but you ought to be able to do something like this in uh, anywhere from a half an hour to, well, to two hours, depending on how much you want to, uh, want to mess with it. Or you can do it at a smaller scale. Looks, it looks real good with a nice big heavy frame around it, and it's a pretty effective painting. Once again, there's no right or no wrong. <clears throat> you can position these things anywhere you want them, depending on where you put your tape that we started out with. You can put uh, fewer, you can put them bigger, whatever. Same way with the branches, that's just random. Whatever you think looks, makes a nice looking composition, then that's, that's what you need to go with. <clears throat> but other than that, I'm calling this done. And this is a project that I think you can do. And your friends will be very, uh, very impressed. 
Uh, the next time we come together, we'll do one of these other paintings that I showed you earlier. They're a little bit more uh, detailed, but they don't take hardly any more time. It's just a diff uh, slightly different style. But we'll, we'll start those the next time. In the meantime, this is approximately what you ought to end up with. Okay, I hope, hope you've enjoyed that as much as I did. And um, I'll see you the next time. Uh, until then, be safe and be good. I love you all. Bye-bye.